You know that one plastic bag? The one that's been stuck in that tree, in your alley, since you moved in. Michael here? He's going to war with it. Nearly 30 years ago, Michael opened Earth's General Store, which, since 2010, has been providing sustainable organic food at a time before every big box store had that organic aisle. But over time, Michael began noticing that a lot of the carbon footprint of the products he was selling came from the packaging it was sold in. We sat down with Michael to discuss his ongoing epiphany surrounding the three R's and the economic forces and energy realities of that little plastic bag your oranges come in. Here on Renewable. Plastic is an incredibly wonderful material. It has made our lives cleaner, healthier, but at a big cost. Well, I'm, I'm a tradesman. I'm a heavy equipment partsman. For me, I, I got into heavy equipment partsman and I loved it. Uh, you know, you would solve people's, help people with their problems. This is just a, another way of doing it, but with more of an environmental focus of it. Back in 1991, I decided to open up Earth's General Store. We were just serving a, a, a segment of Edmontonians that wished to make healthier choices for themselves and also for the planet. So, like, um, you know, one thing that we've started right from the beginning was that we would refill people's containers. So, like, this year alone, we've eliminated the use of 50, over 55,000 plastic bags and containers. We're a very small store. That's, that's a lot of bags and containers. That's a lot of plastic and glass and, and metal that haven't gone to either recycling or to the landfill because we gave that service to people. Earth's General Store doesn't feel like a typical grocer. And it certainly didn't 27 years ago when Michael first opened the doors. Earth's caters to a clientele looking for organic food and plant-based diets in a place predominantly known for beef. They focus on fair trade, and they're shifting increasingly towards refillable containers. Which brings us to Michael's war on single-use plastics, a war that, if you really want to understand it, first you need to understand the life cycle of a plastic bag. Well, most plastic bags are made from petroleum. There are a lot of factories in North America. There's a lot of ones that are made offshore as well. So uh, they get shipped to, you know, the, the storefront. They you put your stuff in. Sometimes you, you'll see people taking, an, you know, a pear and they'll have it in one plastic bag and they'll have their bananas in another plastic bag and they go to the till, they get, you know, it into another plastic bag. They get home and they have three plastic bags, which is a precious resource, petroleum, uh, to to be now, what do we do with this? So people say, oh, in Edmonton, we'll just recycle it. These are the realities of plastic recycling. China used to take about 45% of the world's plastic. Other countries crush it, pack it, and ship it to them in bales. But even still, to date, of all the plastic ever produced, only 9% has ever been recycled. And that's in large part because recycling only really works if there's a buyer for that plastic. Thin produce bags, particularly bad. They're bad because no recycler will buy them. And they're bad because they take a lot of energy to produce. Recycling is a kind of like a feel-good kind of process. You know, like, oh, it's okay, we can recycle it. But what we should be doing is saying, no, we, we, let's not produce that in the first place. So the only way to avoid that is to go to the front end of the pipeline and saying, buy your food in bulk, refill those containers. Buy your food in bulk and refill those containers. What Michael is fighting for is a shift in how we think about reducing, reusing, and recycling. We want people to refill, reuse their containers, come back in and refill. We want people to reduce their, their footprint, therefore reuse your packaging. Uh, we want people to use durable products, therefore we have these, you know, metal containers for your food or for your drinking, because this, this mindset of using single-use plastic or single-use containers is a no-starter for the future. 
every choice that you make in, throughout your life, you can always make a better choice, either for the environment, for society, for your health, ethically. We just need that shift to happen. And, you know, we're here and we have been here for 27 years, over 27 years, to help people with that shift.